So check this out. LastPass, the password manager, has suffered a security breach. Let's check it out. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and I appreciate all you guys for coming through supporting the channel and today we have some more cyber news and what I want to talk about is the breach that just recently happened with LastPass. Now if you guys didn't know, LastPass is a free password manager that allows you to store your encrypted passwords online. Now this is a benefit to using a system like this because it allows you to manage multiple passwords that are highly complex. That way you can lower the chance of you becoming hacked by using different passwords on all the different pl platforms that you actually log into and create accounts with. Now the only problem with LastPass is that it stores the passwords online and so it's almost like a single point of failure. So if someone can access their system, then they can access all your passwords, you know, possibly encrypted and they'll just have to decrypt them in order to try to figure out if they can get into your account. But the problem is, it's all in one location. And this is why I never really promoted last pass i talked about it i said it was a free option out there for you uh, as a password manager but i never really promoted it that much because of that reason so let's hop over to the article and read exactly what happened before we move forward i wanted to ask the keep it techie fam to consider joining my channel membership by joining the membership you can support the channel get access to member only videos tech mentorship early technical course access, and exclusive Linux content. Thanks, and back to the video. All right, so we are at tech.co, and this is one of the sites I saw the article on. It's on multiple sites. They have multiple headlines about it. Uh, but it says, LastPass was hacked and lost source code because of it. And the subtitle says, if you're among LastPass 33 million customers, don't worry. All user account data remains secure despite the breach, which is awesome. You know what I'm saying? That's, at least they didn't lose account information. But again, like I stated, this is a single point of failure. Now, this article was released on August 26th, and I believe the breach was reported on the 25th. So a couple days ago, but this article was written by Adam Bro, um, and it basically states password manager company LastPass has just disclosed a data breach. It was hacked two weeks ago and attackers made off with source code as well as some of the LastPass pr proprietary technical information. Now it says data breaches are nothing new for any company, but give LastPass's entire business model hinge on keeping passwords safe and secure, falling victims to a hack is a bad look. And, and that's 100% true. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that their whole business model, their, everything that this business advertises on is keeping all your stuff secure. And when something like this happens, it always looks bad on the company. Um, and to be honest, I'm gonna go back and recommend the original password manager that I talked about before or I pushed on my channel, which is KeyPass. And I'll talk a little bit more about how that one is a little bit better. Now you give up the convenience, but your passwords, in my opinion, are a little bit more secure as long as your system isn't compromised. But it says, however, in this case, there's a silver, line, silver lining. The breach hasn't resulted in anything that could result in any account passwords or vaults being compromised. It's a pain for the company, but your data will remain safe. And we scroll down a little more. It says, uh, what to know about the LastPass hack? It says the advisory from uh, LastPass says that the breach started when a developer's user account was compromised two weeks ago, uh, which is, you know, that's interesting right there. You know, his account got compromised. I wonder if it was uh, him clicking on a link or something to that effect. Uh, so they can get the password some kind of way, but they got his password uh, about two weeks ago And it says the account was then used to hack uh, The LastPass developer system giving them bad across access to some source code and company information 
though not to the user data of the platform's 33 million uh, customers, which is good. You know what I'm saying? They, that's separate. And here's a statement from the CEO of LastPass. He says, in response to the incident, we have de deployed containment and mitigation measures and en engaged a leading cybersecurity and forensics firm. While our investigation is ongoing, we have achieved a state of containment implemented additional enhanced security measures and see no further evidence of unauthorized activity. So that's good. They're on it. They're, you know, hopping right on it. And like I said, <laughs> this, um, you know, can really affect the company, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. So they're really trying to, you know, hop on it. And it says the company is also evaluating further mitigation techniques, um, said in the announcement. Now it says, uh, last pass, might have preferred to wait a while longer before announcing a breach, which a lot of companies do. They typically wait. But it says, according to Bleeping Computer, insiders leaked news of the breach to journalists last week, who then contacted LastPass with questions that went unanswered until their public announcement. And that's typically what organizations do. You know what I'm saying? They'll they'll be silent about the situation and then release it on their schedule if they can. Uh, now it says, uh, can password managers really keep you safe? Uh, the fact that no user data was leaked is a definite upside to this incident, but it's not reassuring that consider that a bad actor now has access to a unspecified amount of LastPass uh, source code. Now it says still password managers are safer on the whole than trying to keep all your passwords in your head, a habit that inevitable leads to the reusing password or picking easy to crack options just because they stick in your memory. In, a, in fact, one recent survey of IT leaders found a massive 84% think that passwords are decept deceptively uh, weak, which is true. Um, that's one of the reasons why you want to use a password manager uh, so they can be more complex because uh, at the end of the day you'll subconsciously you know just pick passwords that are easy to you know easy to crack at the end of the day you know what i'm saying it's it's not gonna be as complex as you think i know and this is one of the reasons I started using a password manager uh, a long time ago you know what i'm saying because once you see like your password or at least a hash in one of these data breaches you know dumped out there on the dark web with your email address then they'll make you think differently about passwords and start using the password manager now it also says until we move past passwords altogether for for our online security needs we'd recommend a password management tool our research found LastPass offer the best software at the lowest price, but other top options to consider are 1Password and Dashlane, which I don't, I know a little bit about 1Password, but I never heard of Dashlane. I might need to check those out and start looking at uh, some of the password management options that are out there again. Now, moving on to another solution that I highly push on my channel and that I know a lot about and that is key pass. So I have that link open as well. This is a password safe. Now the difference between key pass and last pass, key pass gives you a lot more control on where you want your password stored. Uh, it's a local application. You can even store it on a flash drive that you carry around on your keychain or whatever, or a key ring. Um, and to me, it's a better alternative because once you lock the password it's encrypted the whole or the database is encrypted uh can't nobody get into it unless they know the master password to the actual safe and you're not on a compromised system that's the importance you know you want to make sure you use this on a uncompromised system because if someone gets that master password then they have access to all your passwords now you control where the database is stored, uh, which I stored on my computer. I prefer to have something on my computer versus on a website. You're putting your security of all your passwords in the hands of another, you know, company, which I don't recommend. I always like to keep my stuff to myself. You know what I'm saying? If I lose it, I lose it. You know what I'm saying? I, but I have control over it. 
but just to read a little bit about it uh the current version is 2.51 which was released in may so they're constantly updating keypass uh and i recommend you use the xc version if you're using linux that's the better version to download but it says today you have to remember many passwords uh you need a password for a lot of websites your email account your web servers network logins etc the list is endless also you should use a different password for each account because if you would use only one password everywhere and someone gets this password they can get into everything they have access to all your accounts and so that's the whole purpose of using a password manager at the end of the day and that applies across the board no matter which one you want to use uh but like i said i recommend key pass uh it's open source it's free uh yeah i think LastPass uh has like some tiers uh the free version and then they have some tiers above that uh for more password management uh tools that they provide but this is 100 percent free uh key pass so I definitely wanted to introduce this to people that are interested in looking for an alternative to either LastPass or OnePassword or all these online password managers to one that you can store locally. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. It's very important to manage your passwords no matter how you do it. Uh, using a password manager is uh, any of them is better than not using one at all. So at the end of the day, you choose how you want to secure it. I gave you some of my options or I gave you my option or the one that I recommend, but there are plenty of them out there. I'm not saying that's the only one you should use, but there are plenty of password managers out there. Just do your research and make sure it aligns with your security posture that you set, you know, on all your digital accounts. So. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, leave comments down in the comments below. And of course, keep it techy.